Hello and welcome finally to my laser disc collection video. Now I just got out of the way straight away. In 1958, my phone turned itself off on cue on camera and restarted itself. What was that about? It's back. Paul David Gregg in 1958 invented uh, the technology for laser disc. Systems were on the go in the mid 60s, all through the 60s decade. And then Philips really manufactured and released laser discs into the late 80s, into the early 90s. And the technology sort of went from VHS, which was really, really popular, and the idea of getting a better picture, better sound, extra content. The idea of having commentary, having someone come back at the work and go, like John McTiernan and Predator going, I don't even remember making this film. And now look what we've got. We've got 4K, we've got Blu-ray discs, you know what I mean? It's like the technology advancement is probably jumped. Technology advancement. 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 Now if you're wondering why I've got a black eye, I've had surgery on my face this week and I'm suffering. This is one of the first things I've filmed. Except if you watch uh, my video, I saw in my other video, give me stuff. Now this is what set this off today because I set the lights off because I got uh, this sent us. I had no idea what this was. And it is my in either hour. Um, Vinyl that came from their new album. Um, as a thank you from the band, they sent us that for my music video I did for them, breaking 100,000 views, which was awesome. Now, for anyone who's been watching for a long time, knows that I've had this for about six, maybe seven months, and I haven't even opened it yet. It might not even be what I ordered. About to find out if it is what I ordered today. Now, all of them give or take a few LPs or, or laser discs, and I'm literally just going to go blah 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 blah. Next one, blah 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 blah. I'm not going to do a whole Oliver Harper and give you details of when I bought them and go in them because I don't have a, a laser disc player. Him, along with Duncan Casey, Richard Jackson, and his teddy bear, can watch the laser discs, but I can't. Might get a player down the line, but let's just get on with this. First up, one of my newest collections, um, what came, and um, artwork on the side here. I was so happy to get this. This is Highlander. Um, I love that cover. I'm a massive fan of Highlander. Motherfuckers. Who is that? I am filming. Massive fan of Highlander. It's in Evil Hour, Dallas. Looks class, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much, any of hour. I'll be killing this if you do this again, mind. I say thank you once. This is director's cut, um, deluxe edition widescreen. Um, comes with a few additional extras. And what was awesome, what I love about laser disc is the artwork, it can be totally different. But you know, that is a cover of a film. Not like that. Or the America, smaller, you know. I mean, Blu ray. I mean, look what we've got now on Blu ray, tiny compared to what a laser disc is, you know what I mean? That's the original Big Box Highlander, and there's a little version, and then there's two more random ones I got the other day. There's Highlander Syndrome everywhere. But yeah, that is awesome. I was over the moon when Annie got us this. Um, as I say, comes a lot of surround sound going on there. And they had a lot of trap selections. Wow. Um, we're trying to do something like that for a film. That is awesome. It's Crystal Lambert looking for France, of course. And uh, this one comes on uh, with two discs. And these are so massive, man. Look at the size of that. Now, I apologise if I just finger bashed the laser disc, because I know some people here have been laser bashed. But yeah, they were big, size of a record, heavy, double sided, so you had to go, whoa, ba ba bum, oh, whoa, ba ba bum. That was my sound of a tree opening up. My God. The newest one in my collection is, in fact, Highlander. So yeah, now I have no idea what's happening next. I'm literally going to pick them up, put them back, pick them up, put them back. And the next one is Jaws on LaserDisc. Wow. Like half of these I'm going to totally forget I even own. I'm like, wow. Jaws takes the iconic pose, like what was always on the cover. Like that, you know, and sort of like makes it bigger. So it makes, you know, the impending doom, you get the title on there. This is the letterbox version. On a rough count, I think I've just counted five or six, seven, eight, eight different versions of Jaws on VHS. Now a lot of these, I've got them in cases. This is a double disc version. Um, no extra features on this one. Um, 23 chapters. Oh, the trailer is on the last one there. On the back, it's got the shark going along, which you don't know me say on the back of the covers there as well. Doesn't fold open this one. Um, is two discs. Um, Universal Jaws letterbox. Nothing inside. And there, uh, absolutely awesome. Four sides to this one. <laughs> so yeah, that was Jaws. There's two of my favourite films so far on LaserDisc. Next up is what is it? Oh, Prender. Awesome. Pre oh, thank you very much, Matt, for that. 
I forgot that was in up there. Lost Boys, seven inch vinyl there. It's funny with some vinyls up there, thanks, Matt. Um, Schwarzenegger Predator. Very, very uh, common, well, it's very different than the VHS CBS printer. We went from stuff like that to now versions like this for printer, like that. That's the Blu ray box for printer. Can you believe that? How mental is that? But yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is an 18. Um, as I say, very unique cover. Predator always had either Schwarzenegger, always in infrared, or now it was just sort of like he's close to his face, or really, really close up face for camouflage on the 3D. On the back, it's got a few letter boxes up there. Credits there, inside, CBS Fox, Predator, wow, it's got a bit of a, a, a purple tint to it there, only one side, extended player written on there as well, um, but yeah, Predator. I do find it funny as hell when John Matera is like, I don't even remember making this film, the opening lines of his comedy, brilliant comedy, is just like, I don't remember. But if anyone wants to see all the Predator stuff I've got, check out uh, the tribute video I've got for the Predator when I go in the woods and I'm getting followed by a Predator. It is bad shit crazy, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that video, so check that out. Next up is oh, Little Shop of Horrors, given to me off the movie Pop Guy Paul Ray when I was doing the review for it. Love this artwork. Lost that on the Blu-ray. When you get that and you get the extended director's cut ending. Um, HMV got the exclusive artwork back, but yeah, again, the evolution of formats from VHS, Laserdisc, DVD, and Blu ray, and now beyond. You know, things are changing all the time. Netflix, Netflix films have different names, different covers. Just takes for an actor to break out big, and they might be only in the film for two minutes, and that completely changes the cover when it gets reissued. Anyway, Little Shop of Horrors, classic artwork on the back cover. I mean, that's a classic end, and everyone dies at the end. Audrey 2 there, Audrey 2 on the back, Rick Moranis, um, so yeah. Mean Green Mob from Outer Space and End Cred, so this doesn't even have the original ending on there as well. Bog Sandit release, and that one doesn't have the age written, so I don't even know where the movie Pop Guy Paul Ray got this from. Next up we have, I'm not even looking at these, <laughs> Bruce Salmon, Gremlins 2, how awesome is this? Never present off my girlfriend, I... I love the artwork of Gremlins 2. It has directly, directly, directly. What is directly? But yeah, big box there, VHS. Kept the colours, but when it came out of blue, it went a bit more ready. And the also changed the background. Will you shut the fuck up, Gears More? Oh, I'll get Stripe on the case. Stripe is up there. Can you see Stripe? Stripe is not in Gremlins 2, but there we go. My eye looks even blacker now. Great. Thanks, Dentist. I just completely changed the camera angle. But yeah, Gremlins 2. What I love about this one is cartoon animation on the back. Brain Gremlin on the back. Uh, Gizmo with his little uh, matte stick. Shh. But yeah, it introduced stuff like background, the lightning Gremlin, and Lenny. And Gremlins 2 is one of my favourite films. It's a sequel no one wanted to make until Joe Dante goes, I'll do it, but I'll just do what I want. So it's a film that's very... takes a piss out of itself. But yeah, Gremlins 2, the new batch. None of these so far have had uh, many extra features on here, end credits, but no additional content on there as well. But I just love the artwork of Lizardus. Next up we have, I have no idea, Heavy, the big one. <sighs> Two romance. Um, I got to meet Christian Sater this year. It was one of the highlights of my life that. I was just like, fuck oh, yes, Christian Sater. <laughs> a True Romance tribute video is on the way, the laser disc will be on that. We we'll have a massive rant of how the VHS had great artwork and then this came along and this would have been one of the early versions of just using that picture as the artwork for True Romance and it is on every version ever since. Unless you look at like those steel books. But anyway, blue is very uncommon. It's always the proper colour picture. So Christian City Petition Rocket, blue and on the back is what was on the VHS. This is quite a heavy laser disc. Um, let's have a look inside. Um, again, normally it's got extended play and standard play on there, gives you a bit of the surround sound. Um, but yeah, normally in the bottom cover, I know true, uh, Broken Arrow will be coming up soon, like it says in the bottom trailer. But this is a double laser disc. Treat me right, tips for looking after laser discs make sure you only handle the disc by using the centre hole on the edge. Whoops. <laughs> Do not touch the surface. Store your discs within protective sleeves and cover them with not use. Yes, got that one right. Clean it using a clean, damp, soft cloth. Uh, 
but I'll clean them after this video. Keep your desk away from the screen and heat, sunlight, I can do that anywhere. So, because they're gremlins in my room, you know, I don't want them to explode and turn into pop of gremlins. But yeah, that was true romance. Next up we had da, 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 the mask where I got this one in Prague and um, picked it up, fantastic fun, laser disc. And the guy was like, it's a, uh, it's a laser disc mine. I'm like, ah, that's cool, okay. Mask is one of my favourite films. I love I like the comics a bit better because they're a bit more meaner. It's a shame Jim Carrey never capitalised on it. This has been out of the package a lot of times. Um, it's been pretty hammered when I got it. Um, obviously the rules are in Prague on there, but yeah, wow. Made in Japan, 101 minutes, side one and side two, extended play. Um, yeah, that's absolutely trash, but yeah. I picked that up in Prague. When I was over there, pretty my what the Prague movie. Next up, we have it's Ghostbusters, <laughs> um, searching for a spirit. Did I get that off Scott Carrigan? Yes, I'm sure I did. There's another vinyl hidden up there. Next up, we have this is heavy. Guess more, come on! Wow, Terminator 2. I also got this in Prague, hence why it's got laser just written on there as well. Uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Anyone who's seen my recent video for. My TV got Skynet, I got Terminator 2 on the brand new Blu-ray version of it and it looked amazing but it actually broke my television, I am blaming that. Inside when it falls out it's got chop selections, three sides of a disc, this one should have extra features, um, FBI warnings, um, extended play of course there as well but yeah. This one came all the way over there and again with this one it was it was this used creepy bookshop, look a bit like the Ghostbusters at the answer. But yeah, pretty hammered laser this same ones. Next, next up we have, and I got this one off the movie pop guy Paul Ray, Inner Space. Um, it's weird this one because it slipped down the side there. Steven Spielberg presents Meg Ryan. I've done a few videos for Inner Space. Meg Ryan always creeps me out. Um, uh, Meg Ryan. Gizmo, you go right. <coughs> Time might be everything. But no, um, Meg Ryan's face is always creepy. She always looks like the Joker or some form of reject from the extras from Batman when they all get uh, the Joker product in the face. Um, pretty creepy front cover. Um, this one, it's got the back, then it's queered. Um, it's a double laser disc as well, and um, for three sides as well. Uh, 121 minutes. As you see, they weren't big on going right. This is the extra features you're going to get. A lot of them were from Japan where you got the extra content. Warner Home Videos, this one as well. And that one is actually lovely. You know, that's awesome to have in my collection. Big fan of Inner Space. Don't know why I just went Inner Space, but there we go. Next up we have Heavy. He oh, got two. We've got Gremlins, we're back, and we've got Little Shop of Horrors, Japanese import. I think this one is, yep. All in Japanese. We've got this one off the movie Pop Guy Paul Ray as well. And all of you just flying there. Mental cover when you've got creepy, like, well, it's not bad photoshopping, but like, there's a lot of, you I mean, compared to what we've seen on the last one as well. Um, all in Japanese there as well. It's only one disc. Oh, look at that. The Japanese right now as well. It's absolutely awesome. Yes, I know. I want to use it by the very edge. Goon that. Okay, so Gremlins. Um, <laughs> Mr. Q now because you're quiet aren't you? Uh, stripe on the back of the iconic stripe. Um, gives more, gives more, gives more looking happy. But yeah, this is one of the first laces I actually got as well. I got it off Annie. Annie started this whole phase of uh, craze, sorry, blazes. So I should say thank you, but now look. Um, it's a 15, um, lovely sleeve. An inside, oh I love this one actually, well, look at it. It's got the old Warner Brothers logo on there as well. But yeah, it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome that one. I'm gonna have fun like cleaning all this up in red. But yeah. Next up we have it is a laser disc actually. And it is a Lost World Jurassic Park. Again off movie Pop Guy Paul Ray. He's sold me quite a few of them and they sort of just given us some of has survived. I love the cover of that. That is an awesome cover. Jurassic Park to me, sorry, sorry, Jurassic World never had a really good cover on VHS or on DVD. I think um it's blue. On Blu-ray, you've got the the original's red, the second one's blue, and the um, third one's silver, I think. But yeah, double disc edition, widescreen, um, Universal there. Uh, 
side three. So a lot of these so far I've got like clear side extended play, closed captions. And yeah. Especially I mean a lot of them are just don't open like the first one with like the Highlander. If they do, I will show you them. But a lot of them don't even tell you what they've got, just widescreen. But that is awesome. There's a disc. Thank you, Paul. Next up, the 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 there's two of these. I don't even know where these came from. Jurassic Park, laser disc, letterbox edition. Now, I mean, that is so iconic, the Jurassic Park, you know, so iconic. And when you open this one up, it falls out, look at that. The gates, the raptors, the T-Rex, looking amazing on there. And it comes out now, <laughs> that's a box there. This, oops, one, two, three discs, three laser disc for one film. Wow, MG, MCA Universal Letterbox Edition. They are very thick laser discs. Now, for such a nice box, um, and for free discs as well, it doesn't even go on the back. It has extra content on it. I don't think you're going to know that unless you play them. Oliver, did they have them on? I don't sure. Next up, we have Dope. <laughs> No laziness, but kept up in there because there's signing and all that kind of stuff. There'll be a couple more records up there. Next up, obviously what this one is, it's another Jurassic Park. Um, wow. Um, Haggard from cover. It looks like it's aged badly, but it, yeah, it has. It's been taped up on the top and all that. Um, but this is a very special limited edition of it. It is hammered. I got this given to us uh, by Paul. What is that? Oh, it's Mr. DNA. <laughs> the evolution of dinosaurs in there. Random. Um, so just a shell. And inside the shell you get... Um, only two laser discs in that. So the other one had an extra one. And then here... Look at that. How awesome is that? special edition on laser this. See, you couldn't get that in a fucking Blu-ray, could you? You know, I know recently they've been trying them big boxes where you get every under format under the sun, and they've been trying it with like Doctor Strange and all that, but they need to do classics. Um, so this has just got stories, um, raptors, um, pictures of it. You know, where the dinosaurs are on the island and that. That's X class. And then this one, Mr. DNA again, I think. Evolution of dinosaurs and stuff like that. So that's awesome, especially if you're a fan of Jurassic Park. Next up, we have. Oh! <laughs> uh, Obsessive Compulsive, another band album, all signing it up. Um, limited as well. Um, I try to keep them all safe, oops. <laughs> Next up, we have. Therapy. God! I didn't realise they were all together. <laughs> I'll get to them some other day while I got them. Right, okay, next up, <laughs> Oliver and Company. Um, I used to have the sticker book collection, but like, of this when I was a kid, and it was a big one coming out at the time, especially with the little rascals and all that kind of stuff there. But yeah, Disney were getting in on it. Um, late in the game, you're getting the 4K, but once Disney get involved in something, it's on, it's on. If Disney's backing it, it's going to be a big format. So yeah, there we go. Um, wow. It's not even opened. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Wow. I'm not opening laser discs if they're not opened. <laughs> wow. Wow. Next up we have uh, Toy Story um, on laser disc as well. Um, it's a U, letterbox edition, um, two sides and credits. It's American, this one actually. NTSC on the back. Um, I'll quickly open it up. Probably the most random laser disc video you've ever seen. It's a Toy Story there. One and two. I do love laser swings. See yourself and say, whoa. But, yep. <laughs> Can't go back to Doctor Swing medication. Next up we have. Wow. That's really bad. GoPro. <laughs> Next up we have a GoPro. On the floor. Next up we have Crimson Tide. Dead. <laughs> Dead of Washington. Gene Hackman. Look at the big. I mean, look at that. Two big faces in the red there. Very eye catching for the time as well. They wanted £15 for this at CDX or Cash Converters, it was one of the two. And I was like, no. 
And they're like, well, £3.50. I'm like, wow, what a price reduction that is. And again, with this, it's not even opened. It's like danger running steep. Yeah. So, yeah, not even opened. It's that factory tight. I literally, I tried to open it there, but it's a, a <laughs> plastic so thick. But yeah, another one I've got that's not opened. Next up we have Breakfast of Tiffany's, Army of Darkness. Breakfast and Tiffany's from Japan, Audrey Hepburn and Army of Darkness, Letterbox Edition. Uh, Breakfast of Tiffany's, wow, didn't even know I had that. Woo, um, I'm going, I'm going on a roll here. I'm actually going wild. <laughs> so this looks like it has been kept, look at that, oh that's lovely. Um, it's been kept in pristine condition, that one. Um, let's see, about. The thing about Breakfast and Tiffany's, the song by uh, whatever you want to call them, I totally forget. When I lived in New Zealand, in night, when I visited New Zealand for the first time, that song was number one in 1995. When I came back to England, it was number one over here. It was like, wow, it's terrifying. That song to me has been number one for these six months of my life. One hit wonders, obviously. But yeah, here we go, Army of Darkness. And this one's definitely from Paul Ray. Um, but yeah, MCA Universal as well, Red there, Army of Darkness. Again, two sides, no mention of what extra feature content they've got as well. All come with the same extended play, 121 minutes, letterbox. It's all you're really getting, unless you've got a super special edition one. Right, next up, we've oh, got two here. First up, we have that, what randomly came when I got someone else. I got confused. So, yeah, that was so random. But yeah, the thing, one of my favourite films of all time. Um, the big picture over there, what you don't see. Like this is the first video you've seen of mine. This is the uh, man cave from hell, uh, or the man cave from heaven, depending where you are. I can't get out because there's a big fucking light there, so it's hell at the moment. I've got to keep on doing this and the battery's running low. Wow. So the thing has an iconic thing on there. Iconic thing. I'm going to cover on there. This has been chucked around so many times in my video, I cringe every time I get it out there. The thing there, now this has popped up in so many videos. And it's awesome when Arrow brought it out and they've brought out the new laser disc and the new steelbook and all that kind of jazz that they actually went back to that cover. So yeah, well done Arrow for that instead of whatever Universal was going for with that. But thank you for Casper for that as well. Right, now Bart and I are going to speak to you. <laughs> oh, I was like, why have I got a Bobby Brown one? I was like, why is Bobby Brown up there? Ghostbusters 2, got that off Andy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be a Lost Boy, it wouldn't be a laser disc collection if I didn't have um, the Lost Boys. Now, this is the first laser disc I owned. I only set us off getting the Gremlins and stuff like that. But yeah, iconic, you know, taking away the iconic Kiefer Sutherland's head that appears so much on uh, VHS from back in the day. That's what we know on, really on uh, VHS, and uh, that was obviously the big poster back in the day. And uh, Laser this was the first time they introduced that. Uh, the only thing when they did that was they missed two of the main characters off the Frog Brothers, who normally appear on the disc, because now they do on the Blu-ray, you know, because someone realised what they've done there. But again, two sides, no extra features. Um, Warner Brothers, you know, but yeah, awesome, awesome Laser Disc. We're getting there. We are getting there. Next up, we have it's Event Horizon. <laughs> Event Horizon, special purchase of eleven ninety nine. Um, this is from HMV, so HMV were uh, involved in laser discs. Who is that? Oh, it's, it's so this has been opened. I did an uh, Event Horizon rant later on last year. You can see I got the special uh, crystal. I'm looking for France up there. You can see this Event Horizon on the top shelf. Um, I had a massive rant how it went from uh, green on laser disc. Um, red on DVD and now blue on Blu-ray, the cover of Sandy and Lawrence Fishman's faces. But yeah, awesome, awesome film, Event Horizon, absolutely awesome. Next up we have, oh my god, I picked up two again, haven't I? Money Train and Volcano, um, where Sid Snipes and Woody Harrison reunite for the third time after the Wildcats and White Men Can't Jump, playing two brothers in New York. Who worked in the underground decided to rob the money train? Jennifer Lopez is in this and looking absolutely beautiful. Let's get up. Um, it is a tongue in cheek movie, and this will pop up in my Wesley Snipes videos. Um, I love that cover. It was a big thing in the 90s. Wesley Snipes had just done Drop Zone, 
where drop zone and had like the orange thing drop zones all the way up the top up there um, and obviously speed as well scenes from this we're using Sigmata there's a lot of the train footage that I use for this film appeared in other films um, no extra features uh, uh, special features for theoretical trailer <coughs> whatever and there we go Fantasy Peak and Volcano awesome front cover that would sell a movie this has been pressed you can see how the bends going there Tommy Jones there massive at the time been in Future Dave, he'd been in Under Siege, he'd been in Batman and Robin, and here he comes a volcano in LA. Anything that happened these days. Really bad Photoshop on the back, absolutely terrible. So I'm not really doing that, hanging off there. It's really bad. It's not a bad film. Um, it's aged okay. Awesome. It's got that Tommy Lee Jones on the disc as well. Why didn't they just have the volcano on there? It'd be awesome to see a laser disc if it was possible to be a picture disc, but. I guess it wouldn't work well with the reader unless they were able to fit it all on one disc. Next up, one of my favourite films, Dark Man. <laughs> Dark Man is back. There we go, Dark Man. Awesome, Dark Man. I don't know if he's got that Dark Man's awesome. Um, I appear multiple times just with Dark Man in my videos. I love the artwork. Um, looks mint on Laserdisc, looks mint on VHS, it looks mint on Steelbook, German Steelbook. You know, it's an amazing, amazing eye-catching thing. Um, I think when I did one of the Darkman videos, I had a rant about the shadow. The shadow is now up there. It reappears now. Somebody, when I got this as well, I got this for my birthday last year. Someone's snipped the end off for that. The only thing that really lets it down. I know it makes it easier for the disc to come out. You can see what they're doing there. Probably a professional laser disc watcher. But yeah, Darkman. Again, there's a lot of MCA universals. That one's in blue, unlike the other ones were in red. On the background, some great imagery of Darkman and Liam Neeson on the back there. But what's great about that is what you get now on every other edition of Darkman, Liam Neeson's face is not on the top. Now, I need to do something very unprofessional. Now, back. Right, okay, the unprofessional part was when I left the house and charged the camera, I didn't plug it in. Well, I plugged it in, but I didn't switch it on. What a jackass. Anyway, what's next? <laughs> Next up we have Wow Air, King Kong, thanks very much Carl for that, that's the King Kong soundtrack, that is awesome, um, thank you very much, but yeah, <laughs> another, another vinyl up there, next up we have another vinyl, Lost Boys, next up we have, I picked up two again, right, I've got the, that one for Christmas, I think, the, is that one for, yeah, both for Christmas off any, um, so okay, Ace Ventura, a pet detective, breakout movie with Jim Carrey, Iconic cover, you know, on VHS, and um, always associated with them colours as well. Oh, I don't remember that dog from the film. Um, anyway, um, yeah, hilarious. No extra features by the looks of it. Um, it's a Warner Brothers as well. But that's awesome to have my collection. Cliffhanger is a good one because Cliffhanger that is an amazing front cover for Cliffhanger. Now this is the kind of cover you would see when you used to go old school with the pictures. And you would walk around the waiting areas and you would see the massive like you know landscape pictures are coming soon and you would see that and that looks amazing you know <laughs> saloon cliffhanger hanging off helicopter coming what are you gonna do i have no idea where my um vhs is or that for it i know film before as well when you think back when i talk about the whole money train the orange thing daylight were well, number one of sloan films orange was a big thing in the night anyway and um, cliffhanger over here you mainly got a uh, Salon, like run and just say hang on and just silhouette a salon. But yeah. Anyway, that laser disc there is by Columbia TriStar. So every company was on board with laser disc. But this one, wow, fifty credits. Fifty chapters, sorry. When when not in use, place laser disc in jacket. <laughs> yeah. So it's called these jackets. But yeah, not actually features. Look at all that though. Look at that. All that is in English. But, 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 now, it's an interview. That is an interview with Sylvester Stallone with someone called Turner. Turner the Mac. Bloody hell. Disney Master. Someone's an interview on the back. They could, see, you know what I mean? There was a lot of. You know, they could have made a lot more effort for big ones. Definitely started off with a high with the Highlander one for sure. Right, next up, Broken Arrow. 
Again, this has popped up in a lot of my videos, Petrol videos, I think. This popped up in there. Love the cover, has changed over VHSs. This one does come, plus trailer in the corner. But there's Kathy, there's your, there's your man. Turn to Volta, looking creepy as out. I do like that image of Volta, he's a really good bad guy. And again, with Christian Slater in it, Slater. Yeah, uh, Travolta, Slater, Broken Arrow. Um, <laughs> it's a math man, it's a man for math hour, just looking like, uh, I'm lost. But yeah, it's an awesome film, if you haven't seen it. That is awesome as well because it actually comes on the disc. And if I remember rightly, I think I've actually got two of these. I'm going to keep that there because I think I've got two. <laughs> I think I've got two. Next up, what is it? Oh, Gremlins vinyl, original, awesome. Another mental gift off Annie. Thank you very much. Was this off Annie? Has someone sneak this up? I love the artwork of that. I love it. I totally forgot I had this. I totally forgot who got us it as well. No. Annie got us it. I looked at it and then Annie went out and got us it. She does that. She's smart. She remembers. Because there, uh, Gremlins. Annie got us this. This is a glow in the dark. Get it wet. Changes colours. Uh, gives more in stripe. I've done a video about this. If you want to see what's in that. But yeah, that's awesome. Next up. Picked up two, haven't I? No, I'm Tombstone, Christmas present. Now, if you check out um, a review for Tombstone I did, you'll know that I actually own a signed poster by all four of them. It's in the other room, and I'm not going to get it because of the lights. No, I'm not going to do it in the outtakes. Um, double disc as well. Uh, Tombstone red right now on there. Extended play. I never get that. I lie in bed and I look at the poster. One of the year's ten best. Great film making 10 plus. Are you going to give credit that to? George P. Cosmos Hose? Kurt Russell? <laughs> Who really directed this film? Oh, okay, so here we go. Um, chapter 26 Outtakes and Commentary by George P. Cosmos Hose. I always say his name wrong. The guy who directed Rambo 2 or Best Blood Part 2. Rambo, you motherfuckers. Here when people call Rambo 1, Rambo 1, and it's First Blood! Uh, it isn't up there. First blood. Anyway. Next up, it is. It's the other version <laughs> of um, Broken Arrow. So it was awesome for Aya to get us that. That is the alternative cover you see sometimes on a lot of flip VHSs as well. But yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Widescreen edition. And you don't get the trailer on this one, so you don't get John Travolta looking dead creepy on the back on that one. But yeah, it was awesome to have two versions of the same film with different covers, because this one is collecting the belt. Jump cut. Next one. <laughs> one of my favourite films and hated by a lot of people. Johnny Mnemonic. How awesome is that cover? Now, Johnny Mnemonic, on Big Box VHS, has one of the worst covers ever. Keanu Reeves, Johnny Mnemonic. What's that about? Coming out at the time when Speed had just broke big, anything with uh, Christmas here, uh, anything Keanu's face is on was going to sell. Walk in the clouds, what? but Johnny Mary came out. Now I got this, and this came unopened. How awesome is that? Now it's got that picture of uh, Keanu, which is on the VHS there uh, on the back to this. Uh, um, I love this a bit. It's got amazing cover. Ahead of its time by far, could get remade, but yeah, totally love it. You know, get Jones as often the savior. But I see running around. Next up, <laughs> another present of I. Um, Silver Bullet, one of um, Stephen King's best adaptations, especially for the early eighties. A Corey Haim movie from back in the day. Um, Silver Bullet there, and then it basically has the UK. Big box VHS cover slipped on the slide. Slipped on the slide. I fell on the side the other day. Slide. Sylvester Savant. Oh, great. Sylvester. Sylvester and Tweety Pie. This is the most uncut, unplugged video I think I've done in ages. Bloody hell. And um, yeah, Canon release as well. Um, it's coming out on Blu ray very soon. It's started popping out a lot across Europe. It is an absolutely fantastic movie if you've never seen it before. Um, there we go, it's a lovely laser disc as well. It's one of those films that, like Jaws, it benefits from not having a werewolf present because it didn't have a werewolf, like the whole story of Bruce the Shark not working. You know who Bruce the Shark is there, people? Jaws. I am just wrecking the place. You know, Bruce the Shark. Bruce the Shark. Um, 
you know, they didn't have the werewolves, so they sort of went around it, and because they went around it, it makes the film a lot better as well, so that was awesome as well. Right, last but not least, yes, last laser disc is Demolition Man. And the reason that I'm laughing at this, I have just done three videos this morning, um, <laughs> and Wesley Snipes Volume 1, I've just done that this morning, along with um, uh, Eden, Final Eden, that and my American video, Volume 2, and this popped up in both of them, <laughs> so just iconic, ironic that this was the last one. Wesley Snipes and Festus Sloan, brilliant film, by the time I'll have a massive waffle on um, in the American retro videos, Bastard. and Wesley Snipes, if you want to see us really have a good rant about Demolition Man, but it's awesome. I also got it on uh, BHS on both formats as well, so yeah, awesome. Right, let's finally find out, after months and months and months, what's in this. What is in this? It's proper sealed as well. Claw hammer, please. Oh, <gasps> you better that. The last time I used the claw hammer was on Wolf Cop and I put a massive dent in the air steel book. The packaging's out of tech, but I've got my finger in. <laughs> I'm gonna be, it'd be hilarious if this is the wrong thing. Come on! It is. <laughs> it is. Um, this is awesome. I've got a film. It's behind us in a couple of different formats. It's there. It's there. Um, and it's always had a really good cover. And I have had a rant about. It. I've done a fast forward review for it. And I don't know if this pops up there, but check this out. I love this cover of this film. It is. This is hard rain on laser disc. That cover is absolutely fucking brilliant. Now the cover has always been. Take the way, Brennan. Christine Sarah and Morgan Freeman. That blue run through the water there. They added Mindy Driver's name on on certain VHSs and stuff like that. This should be broke up big. And uh, I even found uh, that I owned uh, this the other day. So yeah. Always had a mint. Came along, came along the earliest stages of their uh, DVD, but I always had that mint glowy cover. Morgan Freeman, Christian Sarah reuniting from Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Came along at the right time with disaster movies where it was a fun disaster movie, good heist, and I just saw that and I said that is absolutely awesome. Morgan Freeman, Christian Sarah, Randy Quaid, and Mindy Driver names sneak on there. Now Randy Quaid deservedly right needs his name on there. Um, but it's just Chris and Sita running through the water with the, the whole blue and the red. I thought, that is awesome. On the back, Chris and Sita, Morgan Freeman, Mindy Driver at the bottom. Um, no extra features. Um, it's been sealed up for me. Oh. I really love this one. Wow, yeah, look at that. Hard rain, blue on a red writing, which is a weird combo. I hate red font. I hate red font in film. I've just had to use red font in the the Western Snipes review, and I was totally not keen on it. But yeah, that's awesome. That's all brand new. Oh, so yeah, that's awesome. So that is my entire Laserdisc collection so far. Random as hell, but what more can you want? What more can you expect? What more can I give you? But yeah. So until next time. Um, and whatever I come up with, laser disc wise. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Right, this is an outtake for me laser disc video. I'm eventually going to get to. I am really, really going to have to pick my arse up and do this. I didn't even know I had um, Army of Darkness on laser disc because obviously they've been up there for ages. And obviously, when I had to move around and put stripe up there, these have come down. And they're not in any order because I want to do the video, pull them off. <laughs> pull them off. But there's mixed up with vinyls. Still haven't opened that. That's my new one. Br Bray Wyatt.
But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't even know what I've got on laser disc now. What a tit. I love this outtake. Hello, this video is not over yet. I will have to wait three weeks for even a film. What's coming next? I've been told that since my birthday is coming, I should hold off from finishing my laser disc video because I'm getting a laser disc for my birthday. I have no idea what it was. I finished the video. I know it's been 40 odd minutes long, but I don't want to, like, if I render the video now and upload it, it's going to be after my birthday when the video comes out anyway. So I'm putting this bit in to justify it to myself. I hope I enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the video. So it's months later. It's now May. May 7th. 7th of May. Something like that. Um, I finished editing the laser disc video ages ago and I was told to hold it and there's been some fiasco about this present I've been getting and I finally got it today and it's pretty mental. Now I've just finished filming retro videos where Mark it's given us fucking three well two boxes and two bags of VHS's there's VHS's everywhere there's a pile of VHS just off camera there they have started to multiply over there they've all fell over on the floor so definitely check out retro videos now I've got this Here's my birthday present, late one. Um, first up on the top, um, Jurassic Park concert tickets for September. Um, two, fuck me man. Two tickets uh, there. 53 pound and 35 pence each. Fuck me, Ticketmaster. Um, me, Ali, Chris Davies and his girlfriend V E are going to it. So that'll be an interesting night. See Chris today and Vicky today as well. So really looking forward to that. And there we go. Happy birthday, Stephen on there. Um I have no idea what this is. I know Annie and my mum were conspiring about a laser disc. Um Annie went out of the way. If you want to check out my birthday video, I got that off Annie, which I was blown away by. I can't say thank you enough for that. I have no idea what this laser disc is. Um, so this is the very end of the laser disc video. And the very end of my filament night because I've got so much to do. Um, especially Monty's video. Oh, let's have a look inside. Tell me some of that. So it's a professional packer because it's got the names on and everything. I don't know what it is. What is it? That's fucking cardboard, isn't it? Um, what the fuck is it? Well, there's a laser disc itself, but what is it? Space. Any ideas, anyone? Can't see. So I can't work it I'm looking for the. <laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> Fucking hell, they do. They're quickening. Fucking brilliant. Recently, I had a right bottom corner right there. There, I sound like a fucking chipmunk there. Highlander, a massive roundabout Highlander. There, you can hear it still squeaking away, dead quickly in the bottom corner. Get rid of that. Highland, watch that video if you want to see my honest reviews of Highlander. Um, yeah, Highlander, Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery. Sean Connery merged in there. Don't get us wrong, it looks big, but also looks dated for the time. As the eye even crosses all the artwork there. Massive eye for It's a Kind of Magic. What's going on there? It's a 15. Uh, on the back, Christopher Lambert posing with his sword more than anything. Christopher Lambert along with Sean Connery explosions there. Years after battling the Kurgan in Scotland and in New York, Conor McLeod. Um, Conor McLeod? Conor McLeod? I don't know if that's spelled right. Christopher Lambert and his sword. <laughs> so even a Buccaneer mentor. Sean Connery, directed by uh, Russell McCurry, who did the first one. Um, Laser disc is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so thank you very much for the seller on that. A bit of a conspiracy there. Um, side one, side two. So this has been the Laser disc collection. <laughs> Fucking hell! Should have only been one. Thanks for everyone for giving us Laser disc and stuff like that. Thank you very much for everyone for that. Thanks for watching this Laser disc video. Goodbye. What about Rosie?
sí. 